Basketball at the 2021 Geico High School Nationals presented by the United States Marine Corps. Time for semifinal number two, the top seed Montverde from Central Florida and AZ Compass Prep from the Valley of the Sun. The winner will square off with Sunrise Christian from Wichita, Kansas, which used a 16-0 run in the fourth to put away IMG earlier championship game, noon Eastern tomorrow on ESPN. And we are so glad to welcome you courtside. Ted Emmerich along with ESPN's National Director of Recruiting, Paul Biancardi. Uh, talk about a contrast with these two programs. Montverde, the traditional power. AC Compass, the upstart. Montverde comes in as the number one seed with eight ranked players. AZ Compass prep, they come in with confidence in a 28-1 record. This is going to be a monster matchup. Among those eight ranked players for Montverde, the McDonald's All-American, Caleb Houston. Uh, Houston's an elite outside shooter. He's got great balance and a soft touch. He also can score in a variety of ways. Can use the dribble when needed. Understands to move without the basketball. One of the premier shooters in all of high school basketball. Part of the number one class headed to Michigan. And we shine the Gatorade player spotlight on Houston, native from just outside of Toronto, Mississauga, Ontario. Same place that produced R.J. Barrett, former Montverde star, now with the New York Knicks. Well, AZ Compass Prep just with one ranked player, Ty Ty Washington. And this guy is special, a dynamic downhill scoring point guard. And he scores with versatility, can knock it down behind the arc, and he finishes with toughness at the cup. He plays with big heart, big confidence, and he's one of the top unsigned seniors in the country. Washington decommitted from Creighton three weeks ago. Yesterday in the quarterfinal win over Wasatch Academy, Washington put up 22 points, 10 rebounds, five assists, and two steals. He willed AZ Compass here to the semifinals. He controls the game. He can change the pace of a game. And what really makes him special is he understands when his team needs him to score or facilitate. Montford in the white. AZ Compass Prep in the black. These teams met January 28th at the Montford Invitational. Just west of Orlando, went to overtime. Some strong minutes towards the end of the game against Wasatch. Taylor swatted by Duran, who is in overtime. But AZ Compass Prep had Duran Holmes in that matchup. Montford transfer who was ruled ineligible for this tournament. He transferred after the deadline to play in this event. Alden Applewhite who not really up this game in his senior year. Numbers for AZ Compass Prep. Back and forth. Washington to small. Compass Prep may be the underdog in this game, but they don't believe it. Jalen played in the NIBC this year. The National Interscholastic Basketball Conference. The lob up top. Tariq Whitehead finishes it off. Back in the hands of Washington. Six to shoot. The floater high over Duran. The first bucket. And secured by Nemhard. It is tough to finish in the paint against Montford. It's a little bit easier when you're Jalen Duran. The lob from Nemhard. See Nemhard, he's pushing it with one on him. Sees one coming at him. Throws it up nice and soft. With Jalen Duran, all he has to do is catch it and finish it. Total control. Here he is again, setting up his teammate Malik Renault this time for the basket. Washington. AJ Storm. Offensive foul. Nemhard, the look inside. Yet again, it's Renault. Trying to find Hood Shafino. It's stolen by Javon Small. Headed to East Carolina. Ty Ty Washington in rhythm. A three ball. Great composure down the stretch. Two to shoot. Renault, the hook, and good. Great time to get a three point shot. Is in transition. Defense running back to the rim, running into the paint. LSU. Whitehead tosses it in for Montford. Whitehead has three inches on Washington. Nebhard with the steal, leading the break. Numbers for Montford and the slam for Renault, who's in double figures. Applewhite falling, picked up by Renault. Tariq Whitehead 
into the body of Diangu, and he lays it in. Weber known as a physically imposing power forward with skill, but Weber had great playmaking ability. Nice cut by Love, but erased by Diangu, the seven-footer, who remains down at the other end. He's pounding his... But Shafino, the pull-up. Duran, the offensive rebound, and the jam. I think he might be upset. Yeah, he started talking to him a little bit after that post-possession. Started to put his chest against the Rens. That's not smart. Turnover. Put Shafino the lay in. But backed out in July. Watch this. Watch the big arm. Jalen Durant snatches it and slams it. And he comes in to rebound, gets good position. Rebound could corral that baseball feed. Apple White. Right down the chute on three ball. His second of the first half. Apple White heading to Mississippi State, playing the SEC next year. Good looking mid range shooter. Committed to Ben Howland in late February. 30 seconds to go in the half. Duren. Oh, a little fall away now. Don't wake up the sleeping giant. 30 seconds to go in the half. Duren. Oh, a little fall away now. Don't wake up the sleeping giant. Durant now with eight points. Shot clock is dark for AZ Compass Prep. Durant has just incredible hands, catches everything. Into the hands of Ty Ty Washington, number five point guard in the country. Long two, he sticks it. Thus far, doing it safely and crowning the best high school basketball team in the country. Ty Ty Washington, one of the best point guards in the country. He opens the scoring here in the third quarter, now with nine points. So many guards go to the cup, they try to get to the rim, they turn it over, they charge. Ty Ty, just beautiful body control. Nemhard, beautiful bounce feed, and Derek Whitehead puts it in reverse, plus the foul. This is high level guard play right here. Watch Ty Ty Washington. Hesitation, step through, float. And on the other end, Ryan Nemhard. Beautiful backdoor to Tariq Whitehead. Nemhard is in leg rolled late in the first half and sprinting down the floor. Great to see that. Oh, Jalen Duran. Strong passer. But when he has space, it's powerful. The way he catches Giabate. Yeah, yeah, Pat Baldwin Jr. may be ready to make his commitment sometime soon. Could be Duke. Could be his dad, UW Milwaukee. Diangu with the stuff. Again, so good to see him on the floor after he could put zero weight on that left leg with two minutes to go in the half. Of course, we're all wondering when Chet Holmgren is going to make his decision. The number one player in the ESPN 100. DeAndre the block. You're not going to block Jalen Durant. Ten point lead for Montverde. Two and a half to go in the third quarter. A.J. Storr carving his Cardi, not me. Right. Look at A.J. Storr. Great drive. Strong finish. Really good athlete. He had a sports center top ten moment. So they got two high level shooters. An elite playmaker in Ryan Nembhard. Coach McDermott will hand him the keys to the car. He'll run the ship, run the program, get others involved. Tough young man to make the outside shot, but what he does is he makes others better. His shot. And when he's open, he knows it and he knocks it down. Score. Baseline J. That looks to work on the defensive shell game. They're well drilled. Washington with the floater again. He just glides. He glides with pace. When you press up on him, he's going to blow by you. When you back up, he's going to pull up. Nemhard left his floater short. Loose ball scooped up by Justice Williams. He's for that team who's committed to Creighton. I mentioned earlier, really good outside shooter. I had a chance to watch him in Rock Hill, South Carolina last month. Houston dropped the pass from Duran. Off the steal. Ooh, Doji lays it in for the track. Applewhite thought about it. 
on the take over Hood Shafino. Two in the white and the number two player in the junior class. I think he's got to get touches every time down. Washington. Houston one of six from the floor. Applewhite transition three. Bullseye. We're tied at 42. AZ Compass Prep has scored nine in a row. Ted, you asked me earlier, can UCLA challenge Gonzaga? AZ Prep challenging Montverde. Look at Ed Gibson, half-court coach in his team. Whitehead on the take. Bounces in for a top 10 junior in the country. You know, Ryan Nembhard has been huge in this game. Hasn't scored, but has nine assists. Jalen Duren is the difference maker, but the X factor for Montverde, Derek Whitehead. I thought his defense on Ty Ty Washington was really good in the first half. And offensively, he gets loose for buckets. Now Houston on Washington. The drive and kick, store, corner three. Lead on the top seed at Geico Nationals. And they believe big time. Ty Ty Washington starts it off. Applewhite from deep. Brimming with confidence. AZ Prep, store for three more. Feed the post, Jalen Duran, number two player in the junior class. He puts it in. And you play through him. Now 36 points in the paint for Montford. Oh, Durant swallowed that up, but regained by Applewhite and fouled in America. Washington in the paint, the wraparound to Diangu. It's Ty Ty, back dribbles, fakes the spin dribble, Diangu. Right place, right time. Caleb Houston, the McDonald's All-American, just one of seven, three points. Nemhard, four to shoot. Put it up, over Washington. Ryan Nemhard with his first made field goal. Montverd leads it. The expression, big time players make big time plays. That wasn't drawn up on the sideline. That was talent. Kevin Boyle says when the plot thickens, Ryan Nemhard makes plays. So does Ty Ty Washington. All even at 49. How about the step through by Washington? Nemhard tried to get in there and take the charge. Beautiful body control by Washington. Remember these two went to overtime in late January when Montford prevailed. Houston. Bounce feed to Love, blocked from behind. And it's Montford ball, trading big shots. Guards win games. Nimhard knew he was going to shoot it as soon as he caught it. Took a rhythm dribble, get some elevation, crushed it. How about Ty Ty? Refuses the ball screen, then the sidestep. Looking for Whitehead first, the lob to Duran against Diangu. Fall away jumper, it's an air ball. Love, does it touch the rim? Houston the tip in. And Montford has the lead. They got it. Clock. Oh, that light. Shot clock ran out. And then Horn. A buzzer. That should not count. I touched the rim from Duran. It touched the rim, so the tip in is would be good for Houston. The shot clock never reset in that situation. As Put it the ball in Ty Ty's hands. Keep it in his hands. Let him make a play. Ty Ty Washington. The step back over Houston. Off target. Montford will play for the Geico National Championship. They hang on for dear life. The tip in by Houston, the difference in the final seconds. 51-49 over AC Compass Prep. Ty Ty Washington, that's who you want with the ball at crunch time. 
couldn't get to the rack against Houston. Decided with the step back three to try to win it. Almost made it. Jalen Duran, the number two junior in the country. Our Buick player of the game with 14 points, nine rebounds, and three blocks. And so Montverde has a chance at its fifth Geico National Championship tomorrow when they meet Sunrise Christian while the season ends for Ty Ty Washington and Arizona Compass Prep.